when you talk about LeBron James, we're talking about the most celebrated athlete of the last 20 years. You know, obviously, Michael Jordan's still around. Tiger's still around. Uh, Tyson, Floyd. There's, there's a lot of guys who, you know, have been some monumental athletes. But of the last 20 years, LeBron has been the most consistent besides probably Tom Brady. And... We talk about his scoring. You know, this year he's probably going to pass Kareem. And uh, in his, in, as far as most points ever, he, he's already breaking a lot of records that might not be touched for a long time. Uh, he's went to the finals so many times. I mean, he, he changes the whole design of whatever conference he goes to. You know, he's changed the design of the West since he's moved over to the West. When he's over East, that's where all the power is at. Just, it's crazy how this one player affects everything in the league. I think the most untouchable, tangible of LeBron's, though, is... He he's he's setting an unrealistic he's setting an unrealistic standard as far as his durability. Now I think the reason he's breaking a lot of these records is because of his durability. He you know, you're gonna break a lot of records if you play a long time and you play at a freakishly high level for a long time. A lot of the other greats played maybe 13 years at the most high level. This dude's played his whole career high level, and I believe this is year number 20 he's heading into. So, you look at him, and they talk about how much he spends on his body, and he's he's always recovering really fast when he does get injured and just looking at how at his age and his size he can still just sky over everybody he's still unreal strong how many other guys are going to be able to ever do that I believe Coach Darvin Ham, the new coach for the Lakers, said he's a once in a lifetime player. And as much of a Kobe and Michael fan as I am, you know, it doesn't take away from me to say, you know what, he's right. And he's setting. A... Here's here's my thing though, okay? Because now this has just turned into me giving LeBron his roses, but and I hope he brings us some more titles. You know, obviously as a Laker fan, but. Is there going to be any of these guys that are going to be able to play that long and play at that level? And does it take away from the greatness of the other current great guys who are starting to decline at even younger ages than LeBron? You see different guys like uh, Harden, Westbrook, uh, even, even KD to some extent. You know, but I, he he still has a while to go to, and I believe just and the way his game is designed and stuff, he'll he'll play a lot of years probably if he stays healthy. But <clears throat> a lot of these other guys who have been around, you know, Steph and you know even Steph, I think Steph will, will be out there for a long time, but. Are any of them going to be out there as long as LeBron and play at that level? His durability has set an unrealistic standard. And I could be wrong because some of them might get there. But I mean, a lot of these guys injuries have always have already held a lot of them back from playing as many games as him and therefore being able to put those kind of stats up. His durability 
has allowed him to get to a level a lot of people aren't going to reach. And I think we need to just go ahead and respect that and stop saying that these guys are failures almost or they're not as great because they're not being able to reach where he's at as far as durability. That's just something, again, like Coach said, once in a lifetime. These other guys are great, too. We've had some great guys, Harden and and Bede, and and right now Jokic and Giannis, uh, Westbrook, Curry. You know, we've had a lot of great guys over the last 10, 15 years who – are on the court dang near just as accomplished, you know, as far as rings and stuff like that. But as far as just that next level of getting it, LeBron, he got that. And and it's because he's been able to hold up for so long at such a high level. Eventually, somebody's going to pass that. But I don't see anybody anytime soon passes and I'm just going to be real a lot of guys are going to retire after years 15 16 17 things like that they're 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 just going to decline you're going to see players I've seen all the greats decline the last 30 years I watched all the greats decline it, it happens and it's inevitable I've no we, we haven't seen anybody hold up at that this level the way this guy has so I say let's just enjoy it and give these other guys their credit where it's due because they might not last as long as he has at that level and it's cool because of what they have accomplished. But man, this dude is a bad MF, man. 20 years and balling from day one to now. I believe it just said he's been in the NBA literally. He's been in the NBA more years than he hasn't been in the NBA in his life. He's given half of his life to this thing. And, and he's just, people are still, he's still in everybody's top five conversation every year. Ain't, 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 I don't see anybody just being able to do that right now for that long. And, I'm still going to enjoy those players because I understand that that's dang near impossible, which is what makes him a a once-in-a-lifetime player. I just wanted to bring that up. That's an interesting conversation. You know, hit me in the comments. What do you guys think? Do you see anybody else being able to get to that level of durability of LeBron? Any of these young guys just come into the league? That's not something you can really tell. You never know. Injuries, all that. Hit in the comments, see if you can you can think of anybody who might ever be able to top LeBron as far as durability. <laughs>